say we have a series of observations, the red spot here, for the relationship between hemoglobin A1c and blood glucose level, these are fantasy figures. And we uh, assume that there is a linear regression line after doing some curve fitting, which I won't discuss here. I did that in another video. We came up with that linear regression line and we want to find the 95% prediction interval. And that has the upper bound here and the lower bound here and a 95% confidence interval. That is this one versus that one. What's the difference between those two? When you just look at the prediction interval, that means that 95% of the y values will be within that range. They all are inside that range. That means if you ever use from the same population another sample, you might find values here between this and that and this one happens to be outside that range but remember it's only a 95% prediction interval. Is it an outlier? That is a, a different issue that I discussed in another video. But let's assume that this is correct and we found these prediction intervals. You could also find the confidence intervals. That range is usually much narrower, it's always much narrower. And all it says is there is a 95% probability that the true best fit line for the population lies within those intervals. So it could be this dotted line or that dotted line. They all are possible with a 95% confidence. 